The art of avian flight is incredibly complex and sophisticated. It is one of the most energy intensive modes of animal locomotion and requires specific anatomical and physiological adaptations. Here we will explore the aspects of the avian skeleton that have been specialized to make flight possible. To start, it is important for a bird's body to be as light as possible. One feature associated with weight reduction is air-filled or pneumatic bones. The avian skeleton also shows significant fusion of bone, producing a rigid skeleton that is able to withstand the forces of flight. Bone fusion can be most clearly seen in the following structures. The distal tarsals and metatarsals of the hind limb are fused to form the tarsometatarsus. This is a characteristic shared with modern reptiles and may be an artifact of evolution of birds from reptiles. The distal tibia and proximal tarsals of the hind limb are fused into the tibiotarsus. The final few caudal vertebrae are fused to form the pygostyle. The lumbar vertebrae, the first six caudal vertebrae, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis are fused to form the pelvic girdle. The ridge on the posterior surface of the pelvic girdle is referred to as the syncecrum. Central sections of the spinal column are fused into rigid blocks to cope with the stresses of flight. Because of this, birds are notoriously stiff-backed. To compensate, they have necks that are long and incredibly flexible. One of the most prominent structures found only in birds is a large keeled sternum. This mid-ventral keel is found in all flying birds and is an attachment point for large flight muscles. The two clavicles are fused to form the furcula, more commonly known as the wishbone. Another important feature in avian flight is the strength of the pectoral girdle, comprised of the furcula, coracoids, and scapulas. This strength prevents collapse of the chest cavity during flight. There are also seven ribs on either side of the vertebral column, each possessing an uncinate process. These processes form lateral braces between each rib in order to strengthen the chest cavity. These combined features are important skeletal adaptations that allow a bird to achieve and maintain flight. 